Hi, I'm Bobby Pierre with Tap Into, and I'm here for my weekly catch up with Mayor Angie Devaney. Hi, Angie. Hey, Bobby, how are you? Good. So I think we took a week off, and I apologize for that. Now that the world is open, Tap Into has been all over town, and we're cranking out the articles, and it's so much fun seeing everybody. So I had fun seeing you at the Pride event last Friday. Um, and since then, we've had a lot go on. We had a council meeting. So I'd love to walk through some of the items that um, were discussed. Um, we also have other news that came in this week, such as the Moody's bond rating. Do you yes. want to walk through where we stand with Moody's and what they announced this week? Yeah, so we're very excited and very proud. Um, our bond rating is part of uh, when we go out and do some permanent financing, which we're, we're getting ready to do um, as part of the municipal complex um, debt. Uh, the bond rating um, narrative uh, was very complementary of what we've been doing in 2019 and 2020 um, in terms of just putting funding aside for various reserves, uh, in terms of our tax collection rate uh, last year, our surplus <clears throat> was the highest that it's been in five years. Um, just really making sure that we are financially planning for the future, whether it's two years, five years, 10 years, or 20 years, and seeing or and having that recognition from uh, an institution like Moody's, um, we're very proud as you can imagine. Yeah, that's great. And I know we'll be publishing something and tap into very shortly so the community can see um, the exact details of this rating. Yes. Um, so other items, um, I know that you had um, allocated funding for the 9-11 um, Memorial Park. Um, I guess there's some work that needs to be done. What exactly is the money and what will be done to that park? Yeah, yeah, so we've had a number of residents uh, notice, as I noticed, that there are a number of um, issues, uh, as I'll say, uh, in the park in terms of um, the blocks in the walls that are, are dilapidated and need to be repaired. So we allocated $12,000 to get the park uh, in shape, certainly by September 11th, so our okay. residents can come and, uh, you know, honor those that we've lost in town uh, at the service. Okay, good. So it, it, I know that I mean, in the past, the DPW was very proud of the plantings and so forth. So it's nice to keep it fresh and clean. I mean, we have the beautiful Veterans Memorial Park, so um, it goes in line with the parks in Berkeley Heights. Absolutely. We need to make sure that we're maintaining it and that requires funding. So we've allocated yeah. that funding, <laughs> made that commitment. Good, good. Um, now, I also heard that, um, the historic society and you had hired a historic architect. What does that entail? Because I know there's the property on the Little Lord um, homestead that is in need of work. So do you have the details of what we can look forward to with that property? I think we're getting more information, but if you recall um, the grants committee and the historic uh, society and the, the historic preservation committee worked very hard to get a substantial grant from the county, which they were awarded. So okay. this is the first step. Um, so what we did is we, the council approved hiring a historic architect that's going to start to do some um, planning work, I guess, on the exterior of, of the farm house. Um, it is extremely expensive, as most people can imagine, um, to restore a, a home like uh, Latilla Lord, um, because there are exterior issues, there are interior issues, um, there's a significant amount of structural problems, um, but we're going to chip away at it little by little. This grant really helps, and having, you know, you can't obviously hire any architect or any professional. It has to be somebody who's a certified historic architect, so we're proud that we're taking a first step. Yeah, that's great. Um, I mean, there's always been so much work in the property. I know like with the, the garden and there's a lot of Boy Scout projects out there. So it'll be nice to actually do structural work. So I'll look forward to following that in the future and see the progress. Yes. Um, which leads me to the Union County infrastructure grant that we received I guess it was it last month. I know time flies by, but we received a $62,000 matching grant. And 
where will that money be allocated? Um, and it's a matching grant, so that money has to be spent. Right. So great question. Um, and we budgeted for the matching portion of it in, in, in our 2021 budget. Um, so many people who travel Glenside Avenue probably know that there's a significant amount of icing that occurs during the winter. And that's a result of these sort of small springs that crop up, given where we live, our topography, our soil, all those good things that make Berkeley Heights, Berkeley Heights, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the project is really a, a, a drainage project, taking those springs and redirecting them into some piping and into the basins where the water should flow. Um, and hopefully that will mitigate, and we're pretty confident that that'll mitigate the icing on Glenside Avenue. So that work will begin and hopefully be done in time for the, the winter season? Yes, I mean, we're, we're hoping our engineer has to do some engineering work and then we have to put it out to bid as a public entity, um, have a contractor come in and do the work, but the goal really is to have it done before the winter season. Okay, great. Which we can wrap up with this, but it leads into the larger drainage project, which is the West Side drainage project. Where are we with that? And is there a follow up as of um, the last we reported on it? Yeah, it's a substantial project that is going to take um, years, as we've explained, to uh, retrofit the piping and do the work that needs to be done, which includes um, getting permission from property owners uh, to do work on their property and then restore it back. A lot of legal work, uh, footwork that has to be done before you can even go to, to any kind of construction. So the council did allocate another $100,000 for that engineering work. Um, our, our engineer will give us a proposal again for the phase two. Um, we are still um, pursuing the infrastructure bank at the state, which is a 50% um, 0% loan. Oh. Uh, and, and then the other half is at once you go to construction, it's a very low interest rate loan, depending on what the interest rates are. Oh. However, we're very committed, um, very committed to this project. And uh, Liza Viana, our business administrator, um, has wrote, written a, a couple of different packets for federal appropriations. Okay. Um, one, um, Congressman Malinowski is spearheading, and he has prioritized Berkeley Heights in this project of one of 10 of his priorities. Um, and we've also sent a, a request for an, a federal appropriation on to uh, Senator Booker's office as well. So we are looking you know, under every rock, in every pot, yeah, <laughs> for any kind of funding. If that is going to just keep growing because this is one portion of the town. So it's ongoing, but it's moving forward in the right direction. And hopefully the residents are seeing that there is action and hopefully a solution. Yeah, we're hopeful. We're hopeful. It's going to take a number of years, but we have to take the steps. You know, we can't kick the can down the road. It's a significant problem. Yeah. Uh, a lot of us have drainage issues and it really does stem from the, the town being developed you know, in the 50s and 60s, and you know the the type of piping that's underground um, isn't you know sufficient enough to to carry the water as the town became more and more developed and more and more houses were built. Um, right. So we're going to tackle it. You know, we're going to roll up our sleeves and do the tough job. Well, it's nice to see that the state and federal level are coming and seeing what is um, what the property owners have to say as well. Absolutely, and we had the congressman here for a tour. Uh, so he saw firsthand, you know, what we were applying for. So I think that he was grateful to, to, to see, you know, what kind of project that he was advocating for as well. Perfect. Well, thank you for this update. This was a lot. Yes, a lot. <laughs> one of the um, and I'd be remiss not to congratulate all the 2021 graduates of uh, Governor Livingston High School, Columbia Middle School, all the elementary schools. And um, I'm excited to start the summer. <laughs> I love seeing all the pictures on Facebook, all the graduation pictures, you know, kindergarten graduation, fifth grade graduations, eighth grade graduations, and of course, high school graduations. Yeah. So keep them coming, Berkeley Heights. Yeah, it was a fun week. That's for sure. Well, yes. Have a wonderful week and we'll catch up next week. Thank you, Bobby. Bye-bye.